Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. You know, I am a big fan of the USDX radio by a DL2MAN. It's an amazing little radio, five bands, all modes, HF radio, and probably the best uh, HF bug out radio out there. It even has a little tiny speaker here, and radios that size usually don't have a speaker at all. Now, of course, it is a small speaker and the sound is, you know, the sound is good, but the sound is not very uh, loud. And with my ears, you know, lots of, uh, I've done a lot of shooting in my life. <laughs> and I just don't hear as well as I used to. That's why I got a speaker for it, a speaker microphone by Retevis. It is called the uh, HK008. And uh, this speaker microphone is amplified, so it has a battery in it. It's USB rechargeable with a USB-C cable, so pretty universal. And uh, you have a volume button here, you can turn it on. So this should bring a much better audio to this awesome radio. The problem, however, is that the plug is not the right one. This is a uh, Kenwood connector. Uh, used for, uh, well, Kenwoods, of course, <laughs> and uh, Bofungs and uh, radios like that. And it's just not the same, uh, the correct connector. So I'm going to have to cut that out and uh, make a new one. You can see here that the USDX has three 3.5 millimeter stereo jacks. And the Kenwood connector has a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack and a 2.5 millimeter stereo jack. And the wiring is different. This part always stresses me out. <laughs> First, I'm going to map uh, this connector here, the Kenwood connector. For that, uh, we'll need a multimeter. And by the way, I just got this uh, awesome uh, VanLab VM600A. I told them I would show it to you. <laughs> awesome multimeter, all the functions you might ever want. I'll put the uh, link in the uh, description. So what I really like about it is that uh, it has a visual and it makes that sound when you uh, use the ohm meter. And that's what we're going to use here to test the connector. All right, so I need to uh, cut this up here so that I can access the uh, wires. All right, so we have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four wires. So that's pretty simple. Doesn't seem like enough, does it? Now we're not going to use this connector, of course, that's the Kenwood one. I have those two jacks here. One is already soldered, but I have to unsolder it. They're different colors, so that's a, that's a plus. Let's check first the, uh, the speaker wires. So that should be from the tip of the uh, small one, and those two should be connected here. So uh, let's try to see the tip first. Ah, black. So tip is black. Black and blue. Oh, this one's connected to green. So I don't know which one um, on my uh, schematic here, the two are connected. But uh, here they uh, don't seem to be. Let's see, are they? No, they're not. Interesting. Well, that's a bummer. I don't know which one to use. The black is for certain. That's the tip. But those two are separated here and that's weird. Okay. Now the big one. So that's the uh, PTT, and PTT apparently goes to the small one, which is, that might be why the PTT uh, uh, is differentiated on those two. PTT on the big one is green, microphone plus uh, is blue. So this is what I came up with, and the colors are <laughs> not logical, but hey, uh, speaker, it's uh, black, uh, speaker ground is red, should be the opposite, but oh well. Uh, PTT green, PTT ground red, mic blue, mic ground red. So on the uh, microphone cable, I have audio on one side, uh, red and black, red being the ground. <laughs> and on the other side, I have uh, PTT and microphone, but I'm going to need a ground too. So I'm going to have to take another cable 
and bring this thread here back to the other connector. I'm using a heat shrink tubing here, so of course I have to prepare that in advance. <laughs> Can put them on once it's soldered. And uh, just slide that down. And of course I'm going to use uh, two more here. So I have my two sets of wires here, but I'm going to need another cable for the ground, which is going to go from one and loop here and go to the other. All right, so I found another cable here. Good thing I'm into drones, I have lots of cables. And uh, I'm going to thread, it's threaded through the yellow one here. And I'm going to thread it through the uh, red one. I mean the Bordeaux one. <laughs> It's black too, but uh, it's bigger than the, uh, the other cable, so I'm, I'm going to be able to differentiate them. Don't forget to thread the uh, cover here before you solder. Yep, I've done that before. It's getting dark here. All right, connectors are always the weak link, so it's good to be very careful. Um, solder them properly. A little bit of uh, solder here on the, the tip of the wires. You know my kit building days are counted because I just can't see anymore. Maybe I need new glasses. Yeah that's probably it. I'm going to solder only one side of the audio here because I think they're connected anyway since it's mono. It's not a stereo sound I, I would guess. Ah, it's not great and those plugs are hard to solder anyways. Um, I'm gonna spare you the next one. All right, it's getting really dark here, but finally I was able to solder the uh, the jacks. I just hate doing that. Soldering jacks is one of the things that I hate the most, but it doesn't look too bad. All right, so it's plugged in. Uh, I have my uh, watt meter here, the uh, WM2, and I have a dummy load here in the back because you always should have a dummy load even though you're not going to transmit or I, mean, I am going to transmit but you never know when you turn it on there could be a short in the jack and it could go into transmit immediately and fry your uh, transistors so the dummy load is plugged in the radio I just plugged it in and uh, let's turn on the microphone hey we get sound of course there's no antenna plugged in so now let's see if I transmit. Oh, I'm in CW mode, so at least I the PTT works. Now I want to see if uh, the uh, actually USB, okay. Now if I talk, uh, the needle should move. One, two, one, two. And we have a working microphone. So let's try to make a contact after the break. All right, because this website does cost me much more than what it brings me, I did sign up for an affiliate program with EMP Shield. We are all concerned about EMP's, you know, electromagnetic pulse, especially for radio equipment. And EMP Shield does provide protection for your whole home, for your vehicle and for your radios. I was a bit skeptical, I have to admit, but after looking at all the documentation they have and the uh, military testing they did, so it does look pretty legit to me. I got you a coupon for $50 off at EMP Shield, so don't forget to use it. It's Radio Prepper in one word or lower case. By the way, do use the link down below uh, rather than going to the site directly. That gives me more brownie points. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Italy one, Italy zero, tango. Sound is so much better, guys. So much better. 
Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Well, I didn't make a contact and it's getting late and uh, 40 meters is tanking right now. So the band is closing. I guess I'm just going to uh, take the radio to the field in the next video. And that will be uh, much better and I'll have better chances to make contact. So actually uh, it does work. So I'm very happy uh, about the microphone. The sound quality is pretty darn good. It's much louder. Uh, the uh, audio... Um, the uh, potentiometer you can really set the audio precisely it's much easier to use than the uh, button menu on the uh, usdx to to set the volume so i really like that and uh yeah pretty pretty happy about that uh does it defeat the purpose of having a very tiny radio I don't think so because the radio still has its own speaker and its own uh, microphone so I don't have to use the Retevis uh, all the time but it's, it just makes it so much easier to listen to and uh, more pleasant to listen to. All right guys so that's it for uh, tonight. Uh, once again uh, I'll take the radio uh, to the field uh, very soon and uh, we'll test again uh, this microphone in a better setting. Have a good one.